I've been watching FPV drone or quad flying for a few months on YouTube and there are some amazing FPV pilots out there doing freestyle um, racing etc and I've been learning and practicing on the various drone sims on on my PC uh, using the DJI controller the FPV controller 3 although initially before I purchased that I was using just a standard Xbox controller but the DJI controller 3 is definitely more precise so I've been watching these amazing videos on YouTube for a few months so I've been practicing and improving slowly but one of the things that I realized quite quickly that I wanted for my my drone flying was to be able to hear the onboard motor sound and that's something that I noticed some of the drone pilots have and some don't and I'm just starting out with the with the Neo and that completely lacks any capability of recording and transmitting audio from the motors so I've been experimenting with little digital sound recorders I modified one and strapped it to the Neo and I've just conducted a, a few test flights but this is not live audio transmitted to the goggles unfortunately all I can do is record onto the mini recorder and then edit later unfortunately it's, I can't see any way of getting live audio as I would be able to if I was flying some of the professional quads. I'm in the stages of building my first quad as well. That's going to have audio transmission and since I'm using the, the Goggles 3, I'll probably have to buy, well in fact I will have to buy a new FPV Goggle set for that as well in order to hear live audio. So all in all, it's gonna be quite expensive, but I think worth it. So my goal with the Neo was to record the motor sound in flight. And initially it was the sound being picked up. If you can imagine, you've got four drone motors, they're very loud, and you've got this little digital recorder that's very sensitive. You know, it can pick up speech across the room. So I had to reduce the sensitivity of this little digital recorder. So that's taken quite some time and a bit of circuit modification. And even then, I had to basically cover the microphone with a, a soft putty. So I've done a, conducted a first proper flight today and then synchronising and editing. And it's quite amazing to hear the Neo flying and to hear, to hear the motor noise. Pretty unique. So with the audio, the drone in flight, you can hear buffeting. So when the Neo hits air turbulence, you can hear that. You can hear telemetry as well. You can hear the Neo transmitting data. And of course you can, you can hear the increase or decrease in, in motor speed. So it's not the best audio quality. And I will be looking at a more advanced recorder, but the issue is weight because I've, I've had to strip this, this first recorder down, removed it, removed the circuit board, removed the case, discarded the case and I got the weight down to four grams and I think with with the little metal shell that the recorder came in it was around eight grams so it, it wasn't exactly heavy but some other higher quality recorders out there 30 grams 40 grams 80 grams in some cases so even if I stripped those down I think some of them would still be too heavy really but it's certainly an interesting experiment and for a drone that normally is completely silent in flight, I think it's quite interesting.